In this video lesson, I will show you how to make extra decorative elements in the shape of buttons. They are used as inserts in different candles, for instance, in the bow pattern. Let's see how they are made. I'm going to use a big needle, which is a part of our equipment set. You can also use any needle you can find, but it has to be of a very small diameter, so it doesn't leave wide, broad holes in the buttons. Tie a rope or a ribbon to the needle's ear, so you can hang it on your hand, because if you drown the needle in the tank, it will be quite difficult to get it out. Let's start. And the color of buttons usually imitates the color of the candle. But you can also improvise and choose any colors depending on the effect you want to achieve. The buttons can be brighter or more gentle than the main color pattern of the candle, so it all depends on your liking. Now, let's familiarize ourselves with the main principles and then you can experiment with the colors. The diameter also directly depends on the number of layers. We make small buttons for small candles and uh, their size and the number of layers get bigger according to the candle size. So everything is interdependent. Always choose the button size suitable for particular candle that you're going to carve. If you create some color patterns yourself, then always uh, dip the buttons according to this color pattern. Let's begin dipping now. And we're going to start with white color. Hold the needle vertically so that all drops drip off. And uh, this provides that you get good round shaped buttons in the end. If you hold the needle horizontally, then the paraffin will be thicker on one side than on another. Put the needle in water to fix the layer. We don't have to warm up the needle and hold it for 30 seconds in the paraffin and the first layer as we do with big candles. Speaking about the height, you either dip the whole needle length or a bit less, but still it's quite a lot. We will need to make six buttons, but the paraffin sausage, so to say, gets quite uneven. So we'll work with its middle part and cut buttons from the middle part. one by one layers. The drops are not too many and you can wipe them with your fingers. But don't uh, pull too hardly because uh, it can slide, the sausage can slide off the needle, so you have to be careful. The middle will be quite bright with yellow color. You can see that the tip is thin and then the paraffin gets thicker.
We are approaching the last layers now. Here you can either add some layers to make the buttons bigger in diameter or you can skip doing that. So the more layers you dip in, the bigger the buttons will get. Also pay attention that some candles are dipped in one color only on half quite often. And uh, in this case we use the same method with buttons. You can choose to add some layers and make the buttons of the top candles half or the bottom one. It's up to you. We are going to make the buttons matching the upper side of the candle, so I'll make them purple. If you want extra contour, then dip them in white again. So all the knitted layers were dipped. Now pull the needle and the paraffin will easily get off. Then you need to cut this uh, thing as you would cut a sausage and make buttons to insert them in the candle later.